All right, hello everyone, and welcome to our first uh, sketching tutorial. Um, so this one's pretty straightforward, uh, but before we begin, uh, just again reminding you that what we're gonna, what we're going to try and start with is a sketchbook. Uh, you want to have a pen. I have this really weird uh, pencil in a pencil holder. But uh, you want a soft lead, so this is, I think, about a 2B lead. Uh, and you want to have, uh, it kind of broke off, but you want to have um, a pretty sharp uh, point as well. This is oddly sharp because it's from a electric uh, pencil sharpener. But uh, even those little hand ones that you, you know, do uh, will work as well. So uh, this is straightforward. We're going to be doing uh, circles and lines. Um, and the whole point of this is just for some uh, kind of uh, calisthenics of the fingers and the eyes and the hands, uh, just to get you uh, connected to a sketchbook if you haven't been one of those people in your life to be connected to a sketchbook. Uh, and even if you have, uh, maybe just a little bit of a refresher uh, if you haven't been keeping up with that. So, um, and this is a kind of particular way of drawing that I'll be uh, kind of walking you through uh, during the term. Uh, so it might be a little bit different than things that you've learned before. Um, and <clears throat> part of the reason, I guess I would say, for wanting to uh, instruct this type of drawing is a little bit about, uh, say, precision uh, and sort of visual acuity and uh, patience really with with the drawing and, and with yourself as a drawer. So um, as I said, uh, this week's exercise is really simple, really straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to try and fill a page with uh, circles as if we were, um, you know, like a robot or a machine just kind of doing the same thing over and over again. But the way we're going to draw these circles is not just like really fast, pop, 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 pop. you know, it's like we want to take our time. We want to feel the circle. We want to uh, kind of get a sense of the, the line weight and the shape and the form as we draw the circle. So I'll kind of show you what I, I mean by that and we'll see if it makes any sense to you. Uh, so when I draw a circle, I usually tend to start a line and end a line, start a line end a line, start a line, end a line. What I mean by that is I start with a kind of heavy line or heavy mark at first and then my pressure lightens up as I go. And you'll notice I'm not going super, say, fast with it. Um, I'm just kind of moving at a steady, sp steady pace. You'll also notice that as I'm drawing, um, you know, is there's a little bit of a wiggle to the line um, that might seem like a kind of fancy uh, affect or something, but it's actually a way for me to kind of try to continue to be precise even as I um, kind of um, move the line along at a regular pace. Um, the other thing you can do with your line weight as you're going around, so you can start with just kind of a heavy start uh, lighter and, and um, a heavier finish, but you can also start to play with uh, the line weight as you go around so that it uh, starts heavy, lightens up, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light, and just to get a sense of the feel of the pressure uh, of the pencil on the paper and the softness of the lead, and you can even reverse it if you want uh, as it goes around. And you'll notice I'm being a little drifty with my circles here. Um, but I'm basically just, you know, trying to zone out, enjoy the, the ride for a bit. Uh, it's a little bit zen-like, you might say. Um, and the other thing you can think about as you're drawing these is you can think about them as, say, oranges or circles or not circles, <laughs> oranges or circles, oranges or apples, uh, potatoes, eggs, any kind of spherical object, and that will give you a sense of depth to uh, the form as you're drawing it. And that's the whole point of the line weight, is to <clears throat> give the 
the shape, some depth, some precision, some space. Um, so, you know, just get some comfort with that. Keep going around and around. Uh, and, you know, again, these exercises aren't supposed to be more than 15 minutes of your time. You can do some for a little bit, maybe do it for a minute or two, take a break, come back, um, and just see how far you get. So that's step one. And, you know, ideally, you, you'd finish a page with that. Uh, I know it seems a bit crazy, but uh, it's something I did uh, long ago when I was in, in your shoes, and it's kind of stuck with me as a, I don't know, it's one of the things I go back to. I'm like, that seemed really weird at the time, but it's actually, I learned a lot doing it in a weird way. So that's step one. Step two, and you can do these in any step. You could do the, this this second one first if, if you prefer. The second one is basically we're going to draw straight lines. And we're going to start by drawing straight horizontal lines. And again, uh, it's all about the start and the stop. So every line <clears throat> that you draw wants to have a clear beginning, maybe a clear middle, maybe, but a clear end for sure. So clear beginning and a clear end. Clear beginning and a clear end. And again, you'll notice that there's that little bit of a shake to the line and really what that's doing is as I'm moving my arm to try to draw a line on the page um, if I was to I'll show you in a sec if I was to just draw with just my arm and not move my fingers not give it some kind of attenuation as I go if I just try to go with my arm I mean it's not so bad I guess I could do that um, but I don't get any real say feel uh, on the paper in the same way um, and you can see that there's kind of an arc to it uh, it's it's not as um, say uh, precise really I guess is the idea I don't I don't have the same connection to it whereas when I have my fingers engaged and kind of moving with the line I can kind of you know get a sense for for the line every step along the way and I can in the line can have some some depth to it and some uh, kind of say flavor even so and the and the little kind of going back and forth it's a little bit like riding a bike so uh, you know that to ride a bike uh, you can't just sit on the bike in one position and pedal like you actually your body kind of sways back and forth to kind of keep the bike on course so it's a similar type of thing where uh, in order to keep going straight, you kind of got to go side to side. So uh, play around with the with the horizontal lines, see how kind of um, even and horizontal you can keep them going. And again, play with the pressure. Go heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light, light, heavy, you know, uh, just to try it out. And one way uh, to keep your line kind of straight as you go, um, I often refer to the edge of the page uh, as a way to do that. So uh, even down this low in my peripheral vision, I do have a sense of where that top edge of the page is right here. So uh, my eye is always kind of tracking both what I'm drawing and um, what's in, in the space around me. So there you go. Uh, you know, and like, I mean, kind of interesting to see how it can go lighter to dark, lighter to dark. Uh, finally, uh, we're gonna just do vertical lines and you'll get and you'll see that the vertical line, because your arm, so your arm going this way is moving in an arc, but your arm going this way, it's a totally different type of experience. So, um, sorry, my battery just got low there for a sec, but I think we're still good. Um, so going vertically, again, my eye is gonna kind of track along the edge of the page. My, I'm gonna have a start and a stop to the line. Uh, they'll have some, some depth to it, uh, some lightness to it, and uh, just gonna play around with that as I go. And I might again just do a few dashes to sort of warm up uh, and get the feel for it. Um, and you know, yours may or may not look like this, but that's okay. Uh, you know, you're just figuring it out. And I'll say, um, you know, I uh, the sense that I have for the pencil, the sense that I have for the way the pencil feels in my hand, it's a very interesting experience. When I was again in your shoes. Um, maybe a I was probably my freshman year, but uh, we had a sketching course. Um, and actually, Andrea Simich was the instructor of that, the, the uh, woman who co-authored the, the text, the 
language of architecture text. And there's like 60 of us in this lecture hall and there were slides and we just go through the same slides. I think we saw like 15 slides the entire semester and we just kept drawing them over and over and over again. It's kind of interesting experience, but I would say I got about halfway through that semester just drawing the same way I had before. And I thought I was, you know, uh, I thought I knew how to draw coming out of high school. And so I'm sitting there drawing, doing my thing. And the whole course, she would go around and talk to each student about their sketch. And it was like, you know, there are 60 of us. So you really only got like one time to talk with her. And she came by and I was doing my thing. And I was like, oh, she's watching me. Okay, this is it. I got to do it really well. And she just reached over. She grabbed my hand. And she put her hand over my hand. And I had never drawn like that before. <laughs> and she just did the drawing for me. I can't remember. It was like some kind of like, you know, uh, painting and there was a person in it and a, but it was just like suddenly like my drawings had so much depth and dimension to them because I had never pushed so hard with a pencil I never knew you could push that hard with a pencil and not break it and then go so light at the same time and the kind of range of uh, expression we were able to get uh, in that kind of five seconds of drawing completely changed my sense of how to draw so um, I'm hoping with a little bit of demonstrations here for you guys that uh, you might start to uh, develop a bit of a drawing practice for yourself. So uh, have some fun with this and just finish up, fill up the page if you can, uh, take a break, you know, uh, go for a walk or whatever you need to do, but see if you can make sure by the time this is all done, you do have a page filled up. I would love to see the results. So um, if you could snap a few photos of them and throw them up on the concept board page, that would be great. All right, so I'm gonna stop there and um, let you guys have some fun.